Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, I want to talk about Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Baker Mayfield, because I feel like throughout the first month of the season so far to this point, Baker Mayfield has been really, really good. And I wanted to go over the stats and kind of talk about what has been impressing me personally the most of Baker Mayfield throughout this first month. Firstly, the record, 3-1. and one, That's a great way to start. I think not a lot of people expected the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to start off this way. Look, myself included, and I'm happy to be wrong. The Buccaneers have definitely look li looked like a, a juiced-up, vitalized, just ready-to-play football team. Part of that is because of the overall ability and leadership of Baker Mayfield. They did have the one... Uh, you know, kind of tough outing against the Philadelphia Eagles. But besides that, the offense, I thought, had pretty decent showings against the Minnesota Vikings, the Chicago Bears, and finally against the New Orleans Saints as well. Now, I, some, I know some people are going to take a look at the Vikings and the Bears and say, oh, come on, it's the Vikings and the Bears, James. What the heck are you talking about? Those aren't even good teams. And look, fair credit, right now, those teams have combined for a 1-7 and seven record, I believe. But the New Orleans Saints have a legitimate defense. I think that not a lot of people can deny that. And I think that that's just a very impressive thing to see from Baker Mayfield and from this Buccaneers offense. It's like, yes, they can tangle with a good defense like the New Orleans Saints, much like what we just saw them do last week, uh, whenever they did play the Saints. Um, but another couple of things that have been so interesting to Baker is whenever you dive into the stats, right? Only 125 attempts so far this year. Uh, basically mimics what he did with the LA Rams. So this is actually going to kind of be a, a an interesting comparison, right? Baker started four games with the Rams in his short time with them. He has now started four games with the Bucks. So that is the most two the two the two most recent teams that Baker Mayfield has been a part of, right? So let's go ahead and dive in. Baker Mayfield, 125 attempts so far with the Bucks. He had 129 with the Rams whenever he was with them. 882 yards to the Rams, 850 whenever he was with them. Completion percentage is very similar. 69.6 .6 completion percentage for Baker so far up to this point. 63.6 .6 whenever he was with the Rams. So you kind of you just see a lot of similarities there. Finally, touchdown interception ratios. Baker Mayfield's been great so far. Seven touchdowns to only two interceptions for the Bucks. Whereas with the Rams, he had four touchdowns to two interceptions. Um, it's it just overall been really efficient play from Baker. He's not turning the ball over. He's not throwing interceptions. He's not even fumbling the football. He's just overall having good play. And, and it definitely lends to the idea of what Baker said after the Saints game, where he was asked about all this production success that he's been having. And he was, I get to paraphrase Baker here, he said that the Rams and the Bucks have been the two essentially best coaching staffs to get out all of the skills of Baker Mayfield, get the most out of Mayfield. The Rams and the Bucks have been the two coaching staffs to utilize Baker Mayfield in the best way. And so far, the proof is in the stats pudding, folks. Like, that's just how it's been so far for Mayfield with the Bucks. He's got a quarterback rating of 101.5, not shabby at all. Whenever you even go into the rushing stats, right? Baker Mayfield so far this year, 23 rushing attempts for 61 yards. Um, and I know that that doesn't sound crazy, right? It's only 2.7 yards per carry. But what's been so good to watch with Mayfield has been the third down opportunities, the third down running. Mayfield's had some very clutch scrambles and really just isn't afraid to, you know, get his shoulder down and really lean into tacklers to get an extra yard or two that can get him a first down that can win you a football game. That has been, again, just another positive thing for Mayfield that I've noticed. Hopefully, a lot of people have noticed that, too. Uh, finally, the last thing I want to talk about, folks, is pocket awareness. I think that Baker Mayfield has been excellent, absolutely excellent, with pocket awareness so far this year. I think that the offensive line is blocked okay for Mayfield, all things considered, with pass protection and whatnot. But whenever Mayfield isn't able to... I guess I should say whenever the offensive line isn't able to, you know, hold up in pass protection and whatnot, Mayfield's done a, a fantastic job 
in terms of locating the pressure, avoiding the pressure, extending the play, and then eventually finding a guy. He has done that multiple, multiple times so far this year. And that's been, in my opinion, one of the most, I would say probably the most impressive thing that I've seen from Baker so far this year is the pocket awareness, is the overall ability to extend the play and find a guy open. That's right up there with limiting mistakes. I think a lot of people assumed or thought that Baker, whenever he gets pressured, things fall apart quickly. And it was going to happen. It was going to happen. People said it was going to happen. Hasn't happened yet. Um, so far up to this point, Baker has been very good under pressure, extending the plays and not making mistakes. Now, I will say there have been two passes that should have been intercepted uh, previously from Baker, right? Uh, one was against the Saints. Lonnie Johnson Jr. should have had an interception. The other one was, I believe, against the Bears. So he should, you know, but a lot of quarterbacks have plenty of interceptions that are not intercepted that are dropped by defenders it, it just it happens to a lot of different quarterbacks and you know Baker Mayfield is no exception to that so all in all it doesn't necessarily bother me too much and I don't think that that's a really big sticking point if Baker Mayfield only has two real interception worthy throws so far up to this point he's he's doing a lot of stuff right I will say that so I mean yeah I just wanted to make this video to kind of Talk about Baker. Talk about some of the things that have been so, so interesting to watch and pay attention to because Baker really has been showcasing a lot of good ability that I think that, uh, you know, maybe some Bucks fans were expecting. I don't know if Bucks fans at large were expecting Baker Mayfield to have this good of play right off the bat. Um, and especially not the national, you know, folks were expecting Baker Mayfield to have at this point. So just wanted to kind of, kind of give Baker Mayfield credit where credit is due. He's had a fantastic start to the first month of the year for the Bucks so far. It's led to wins. It's led to great stats and definitely gives a strong indication that, you know, this is the Baker Mayfield for the Bucks. Hopefully he continues it. Uh, if he does, the ba the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I was going to call them the the uh, uh, Baconeers, but the Buccaneers very well might have a long-term answer at quarterback, you know, on their hands here with Baker. So we're just going to have to pay attention and wait and see what happens. But folks, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about Baker Mayfield down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Have you been impressed with Baker Mayfield? What specifically have you been impressed with Baker Mayfield? would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. As always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.